your partner in growth. Hey, crop insurance agents. Tired of the same old grind? Crop West Insurance is here to help you grow smarter and earn bigger. With personalized marketing plans, hands-on consultations, and exclusive educational retreats, they make sure you stay ahead of the curve. Crop West Insurance, expertise, integrity, and all the tools you need to crush it. To find out more, please visit them at CropWestInsurance.com. CropWest Insurance Incorporated is an equal opportunity provider and employer. Hey there, and welcome to the Crop Insurance Podcast. I'm your host, Mike Rydell, a third generation crop insurance agent, and I'm here to help you navigate the ins and outs of crop insurance. It's what my family's been doing for generations, so you're in good hands. Our goal here is simple, to educate our listeners. Crop insurance can be complex and overwhelming, but I believe that understanding it is crucial for every farmer. So whether you're a seasoned farmer looking to stay updated or a newcomer seeking guidance, this podcast is for you. Today, we'll be discussing an important component of crop insurance that addresses the challenges posed by severe weather. The Hurricane Insurance Protection Win Index endorsement, commonly referred to as HIPWE, along with the Tropical Storm option, commonly known as TS. As many of you know, the threat of hurricanes and tropical storms, they can significantly impact your agricultural operations. That is where HIPWE comes into play. This endorsement provides crucial coverage for a portion of your crop insurance deductible up to 95% of the expected value when a county or adjacent county experiences sustained hurricane force winds. It's available for over 70 crops, specifically in the areas near the Atlantic, the Gulf of Mexico, as well as in Hawaii, and has been available since 2020. So how does HIPWE work? Well, when hurricane force winds occur in your area, HIPWE helps to cover the deductible of your underlying crop insurance policy. However, it's important to note that this endorsement won't provide indemnities for the acreage that is in prevented from planting or any reimbursement for replanting. Additionally, HIPWE can be combined with other programs like the Supplemental Coverage Option, also known as SCO, and the Stacked Income Protection Plan, known as STACKS, when you have a companion policy. Now let's consider what happens in the event of a loss. If your county is impacted by the hurricane force winds, the full value of the HIPWE endorsement may be paid out. A HIPWE payment is the difference between your base federal crop coverage and 95% of the expected value of the crop. So we'll say that again, your HIPWE payment, it's the difference between your federal crop insurance coverage and 95% of the expected value of the crop. So let's assume that you have an expected value of the crop worth $100 an acre. Let's also assume that your federal crop insurance policy is at the 75% coverage level. Your base federal crop insurance policy would pay for your loss from the 75% and below mark because you're at the 75% coverage level. Your hip we endorsement would pay for the band of coverage from 95% on down to your coverage level at 75% of your expected value. So in this case, it'd be that 20% band of coverage. If you happen to be in the 70% coverage level, that band of coverage would be bigger because you have a lower coverage level. So that band of coverage would be 25%. So depending on what your base coverage level is with your federal crop insurance, that's how big or small that band of coverage may be. Another way to explain it is you have a federal crop insurance policy at the 75% coverage level and you have the HIPWE endorsement. The expected value of your crop is $100. You're going to take 95% minus your coverage level. So 95% minus 75% equals 20%. Then you're going to take that 20% and multiply it times your expected value. 20% of $100 is $20 an acre in this example. It's pretty straightforward math. 
uh, very easy to calculate and figure out. Now let's dive into what the tropical storm option or TS for short looks like. So this coverage is designed for tropical storm events that might not qualify under hip we. So to be eligible for the TS coverage, a tropical storm must have sustained tropical storm force winds and an average precipitation of at least six inches for the entire county. The inclusion of the TS option provides an additional layer of protection and it's ensuring that you're covered even when hurricane conditions are not met. This endorsement is fairly new and it's only been around since 2023. In contrast to the hip we payment, that TS option is elected and the county is affected by a tropical storm, you get 50% of the hip we amount. So how the payment would work is you simply figure out what your hip we payment would be and you multiply it times 50%. So using our previous example, we have $100 an acre expected value. You got the 75% coverage level. That gives you a 20% band of coverage under hip we. That equates to $20 an acre. Under the TS endorsement, you would get $10 an acre because you get half of that hip we payment. And keep in mind, there's only one indemnity payment allowed per insurance period. So proper planning is crucial. Next, let's talk about the requirements for hip we. To qualify, you must have an underlying federal crop insurance policy under the basic provisions with the same insurance provider or AIP that your current policy is under. It's also necessary to elect that hip we endorsement or the TS option before sales closing date of your underlying policy. So when you're signing up to change your coverage levels for your underlying federal crop insurance policy, that is the time that you would add or subtract the hip we and or TS endorsement. Now, if you qualify as a limited resource farmer, a beginning farmer rancher, or a veteran farmer rancher, you may have the hip we administrative fees waived. Now, if you're not familiar with the BFR or VFR program, make sure you go back and listen to our previous episodes where we've discussed those in more detail. As for deadlines, you simply need to keep an eye on the sales closing date for both your hip we and TS coverage crops on the underlying federal crop insurance policy. Those sales closing deadlines are the same deadlines for hip we and TS. It is essential to make sure that you make these elections on time because you want to ensure that you're adequately protected for the upcoming crop year. Keep in mind that in order to add the TS option, you must have purchased or added the hip we option as well. You can have the hip we option all by itself, but in order to have the TS option, you would have to add both to your policy. Finally, I just want to emphasize that your individual yields and revenues are not considered under the hip we and TS loss settlement, meaning it doesn't matter necessarily what you, happens to your operation, it's your area, because it's more of like an area risk plan, much like SCO, ECO, these other products that we've discussed in previous episodes. So keep in mind that like it, all area risk plans, when the loss is triggered or when it pays is going to be the same for everybody in your area, but how much it pays is going to be based on your crop insurance policy, what your coverage level is, your history, your expected value. So you, both you and your neighbor that took the option may get paid at the same time. You more than likely won't get paid the same amount because you have different histories, different crop insurance coverage levels and all that good stuff. Um, additionally, one big note is when it comes to the timely notice of loss, on the hip we and the TS endorsements or options, the federal crop system automatically flags or triggers these loss payments um, based on the way the policy works. So it's not something you have to initiate. It's something that the system automatically does if you have the option. Now this helps streamline the process during stressful times as you probably have more important things to worry about. One note, I highly encourage you to make sure you're signed up for ACH or direct depositing for loss payments with your crop insurance company if they offer that so that you don't have to have a check mailed to you. It can just be automatically deposited into your account, which will save a lot of time, especially if there's a disaster in your area. Now, if you have any questions and need more information regarding HIP, we and the tropical storm option, I encourage you to reach out to your local crop insurance agent. 
Uh, if you don't have one, you can locate an agent through the RMA website, or you can reach out directly to us at info at cropinsurancepodcast.com. Now, obviously, there are is more that goes into both of these options and endorsements. So I encourage you to go to the RMA website to look further into how they calculate the hurricanes and tropical storm force winds. All of that information and policy data is available to you at the RMA website. Thank you so much for joining me today on the Crop Insurance Podcast. I hope this discussion provided you with some valuable insights into the HIPWE endorsement and the tropical storm option. Don't forget to subscribe and share this episode with your colleagues in the agricultural community. Until next time, stay safe and informed in the field. From my family to yours, thank you for joining me today. Explore more at cropinsurancepodcast.com where you'll find episodes, articles, and tools to help you make the most of your coverage. Be sure to subscribe and share with your friends and neighbors. Remember, this info is just a guide. For specific rules, please refer to the Crop Insurance Handbook and your appropriate crop provisions. This institution is an equal opportunity provider and employer.